Romantic walks in to KFC. But the problem is both left wing and right wing and controlled opposition both serve the same goals in the long term. Neither of them is a pro-truth. Even Elon Musk is controlled opposition. How do we know that Assange and Snowden are not controlled opposition? Look at what they're doing to Julian Assange. All right. And you take people uh, for their words, what they say, and look at their, if they're consistent with what they're saying, look at their actions uh, based on what they're, what they're saying, right, and what they're doing, right? So, for example, uh, th th let me read your question again, right? Uh, the last part of it, anyway. How do we know that Assange and Snowden are not controlled opposition. I'll, I'll state it regarding Julian Assange. Snowden, I followed a fair bit, uh, not as much as Julian Assange, and Stone, Snowden has a higher probability of being controlled opposition than Julian Assange, and I don't think Snowden is controlled opposition, to tell the truth, right? But I'll refrain from talking about Snowden, right? But in regards to Julian Assange, look at what he's done look at what he said look at the price that he has paid right based on those three things you can pretty much say that he's not controlled opposition if anything he is the absolute opposite of what a controlled opposition would be because a controlled opposition at some point would side with the state to persecute the people right for example, for example, the best example I can give you, and I attribute this to uh, uh, the person being senile, and he's not senile. I've seen recent interviews of him. So the only, the only thing I can say is that he's controlled opposition. One of the best known people on the left, which would be Noam Chomsky, right? Noam Chomsky has written a tremendous number of books, right? And I've followed Noam Chomsky a long time. I have Noam Chomsky book here signed. I went and saw him speak, right? But there's two places where he stood out regarding um, his stance that I have ser serious issues with, right? One of them I dismissed because I said, okay, let him have his this opinion and I can justify him having this opinion, right? With Noam Chomsky, when it came to 9-11, he said it doesn't matter. Okay. So people, 9 11 truth movement, and people who don't believe that, I, can, I mean, you got to be a serious low IQ to still believe that official line of 9 11, right? I, I really don't, really, I, I don't even associate with anyone that still believes that stuff. I haven't talked to anyone that's believed the official line of 9 11 for years now, right? I don't know if there's still anyone that exists that still believes the official line right but at the beginning noam chomsky people would ask him what, what do you think about noam chomsky, uh, what do you think about 9 11 and stuff like this he goes it doesn't matter it doesn't matter right that's that's really stuck with me right and i was like what do you mean it doesn't matter of course it matters but i justified that away uh because he would follow that up saying jfk right because jfk now almost everyone should know that the deep state the cia and with collaboration with the FBI and the mafia, killed JFK, right? So the government of the United States killed the president of the United States, assassinated the president of the United States, and Noam Chomsky would say, well, look at JFK. It's obvious that, I'm paraphrasing uh, Noam Chomsky, right? But he was sort of implying in my eyes that, shit, 9-11, big deal, but it wasn't as big of a deal as them assassinating their own president live on television right they assassinated jfk one of the most beloved presidents in u.s history right and nothing came of it and then in the same decade they had assassinated four more people right martin luther king uh robert kennedy uh malcolm x and uh, black panther uh huey right i think it was huey so it doesn't I, would, I justified that away but i can't justify away two other things that 
Noam Chomsky said. He said, hold your nose, vote for Hillary Clinton. Chomsky, you're an idiot, right? That was a, the line that made me go, fuck off Chomsky, right? Even though I, I love what he said, I have respect for him, for what he's done, some of the things that he's done, right? I, I, I sort of went, okay, he's probably controlled opposition now. If he's saying, hold your nose and vote for Hillary Clinton, are you out of your fucking mind? Because you kept on saying Trump is a fascist. I go, what part of Trump do you think is a fascist that the Democrat, Hillary Clinton, is not a fascist, right? So I wrote off Chomsky for 2000, in 2016 elections. I said, okay, I'm not going to read him anymore and really listen to him or follow his work anymore because he's controlled opposition. And then when COVID rolled out, he said, Go get your injections. Anyone that doesn't get in their injections, they should be put on an island. That solidified it for me. Chomsky, controlled opposition, he's a piece of shit. Right? Fuck him. Like, I look at the Chomsky book, I go, it was, it was, it was amazing times that I was going through. Um, I look at it with fondness, but I would never read that book again or read anything from the passage again because he's controlled opposition, Chomsky. Assange has never even come close to that level where he said something that contradicts his previous teachings or his previous stance, right? So Assange is no the furthest thing away from controlled opposition. He is literally a prophet that is being crucified, okay? So that's my long-winded answer to give you one of the top people from the left, right, that people consider to be, oh, he's amazing, he's a Chomsky, but he's controlled opposition, all right? Assange, really, like, I've listened to, read a lot, listened to a lot of his words, his interviews, his lectures. His stance doesn't, there isn't one place where I can find where he contradicts himself, right? Contradicts his teachings, contradicts his stance, right? There isn't. I don't have one for Snowden either, by the way. But I haven't looked into Snowden as much as I have for Julian Assange. Okay. I hope that's uh, that's a okay reply. Uh, romantic uh, walks to KFC. And I'll read your question again um, because it's a long-winded answer. And your, your comment was this. Uh, but the problem is both left-wing and right-wing are controlled, are controlled oppositions. Both serve the... Uh, same goals in the long term either of them uh, uh, neither of them is pro-truth even Elon Musk is a controlled opposition how do we know that Assange and Snowden are not controlled opposition and that was my reply to that and Elon Musk for sure is fucking controlled opposition the guys fucking he's done some good things right but man he's come out and criticized himself a lot right he, he's acted as a hypocrite in many ways right look at the warning that still goes out on BitChute links on Twitter Look at what he did with Substack, right? Uh, uh, Elon Musk is not is not even the same category as Assange, by the way. Assange or Snowden, like not even. 